did. The book. Neotech. Now, it's a big book. Now, we're going to talk about this. How to use the power of Neotech, that's a trademark, uh, by Mark Hamilton to make money online. Now, I do the info product business, but you could use it in any kind of business, like Etsy or anything else, right? If you're into Etsy, you're into coaching, you're into Amazon, selling stuff on Amazon, e -com. It's all can work through the Nova, Nova, Novo Tech package of Inside Secrets by Mark Hamilton using the principles of Neotech. This is it. Now, he changes the title of these books quite often. So if you go to Amazon, you'll find this one and you'll find others. Or you can search online Mark Hamilton Neotech and you're going to be able to find uh, you're going to be able to find his, his, his book. Now these books aren't cheap. But I'm going to tell you, and they're probably very controversial. I'll be honest about that. This. this is controversial. But I think when you see what I have to say, you're going to go, all right. I think I can roll with that. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Martin Setters. I've been selling products online uh, uh, since 1997. Sold over 70,000 products. You can get my free book on how I sold 70,000 products at marlinsnews.com forward slash 70K. That is marlinsnews.com forward slash 70K. And by the way, if you would like to help us uh, share uh, the, the word, if you go over to our community tab on YouTube, you will be able to... Uh, uh, get a, a free report from me how I got 100 page testimonials online just by sharing uh, the news about our uh, uh, group online. Help us grow. Tell people about our, our group. All right. So Mark has several variations of this. This was like a booklet. Uh, rapid power and wealth th uh, through iron grip control of everything that moves. And I know some people are going to go, they're not going to like it. <clears throat> because <clears throat> parts of Neotech are controversial because it's both a philosophy and a business method. It, the, the, it's all combined into there. Now, I'll be honest. Like The, the philosophy part, <clears throat> I think, is interesting about integration and all of these things. Some of it I don't understand. Um, but what is really awesome to me is I'll show you is he has, let me see if I can pull up, there's so many elements of this, but first of all, he shows you how to plan your day and get incredible things done by batching tasks and getting like 10 times the results that other people would get right? And he, and he shows how to do this with what he calls physical movements. Now, quite honestly, it's beyond this scope of this live stream to explain that other than I'll give you a few examples from, from my business. Uh, writing is a, uh, a, a physical movement. You sit down, I sit down at the computer and I write, or I get a yellow tablet at, like this one, and I write. I do this all the time, right? That's what I write on. Now, but you can bask, you can, you can batch projects. In other words, let me explain that. The reason you get so much done is let's say you've got 10 projects. Now, four of the projects may require writing. So you can actually batch in what he calls your writing mini day. You can batch your writing for four different projects. So, you know, this whole thing about just do one project at a time, one thing at a time, which is kind of the part about one thing at a time is true. He will batch writing, so he will do all writing together. He will do all the numbers or accounting in a little mini day all batched together. Could be numbers for different projects or di different things, right? Um this is a really powerful technique, though, because it allows you to get intensity. You start writing, and you don't have to interrupt your writing. You write on this project, this project, this project, and this project, right? That's how he does it. So he has, that is part of it, and he has this whole thing that he calls power thinking. Let me see if I can look in here and find an example of his power, the idea of power thinking is you envision your final result that you want, 
And then you work backwards to all the things that need to be done. Now, just off the top of my head, I can't find the little page here on power thinking, so I'm going to go on. Now, one of the other things that's really cool here is he does a thing that's called tracking reports. And you ever have employees or outsourcers that don't get their stuff done? So you will have tracking reports. So here's like 10 tracking reports here that he uses to keep tabs on different employees or outsourcers. And so for each of these things, he has reports that have to be submitted that let him know every single responsibility, what he calls a tell of responsibility, every single responsibility is done. So he may have like 10 reports or something. Now, if you don't use outsourcers, I understand. But you know what? This is valuable for you because you got to run your business like a business. So uh, he shows you how to do all of this. And he shows how to do what are called essence meetings, which are a real game changer. Essence meetings are a real game changer. Whether you just do them with yourself or you do them with your outsourcers or you do them with your team, this is where once a month you sit down and you plan your growth. Once a month you sit down and you plan out your 10 activities for that month that you want to accomplish right now i just want to show you that the names of these things change which can be a little frustrating the names of the books so let me go over here to amazon and just show you this right um but if you're in business or you want to be in business i think you will find this inspiring i think you'll find it really interesting but you do need the ability to read and comprehend because this is not stuff written at a third or a sixth grade level like, he uses a lot of big words. Whoops, sorry about that. He uses a lot of big words and um, kind of big words, like or, or concepts, big concepts, like integration and other things. Like, you got to have pretty kind of good reading ability to really understand. Like, when he talks about products, he talks about selling values. What he's really talking about is creating selling products, but he doesn't call it selling products. He calls it creating and selling values. And unless you kind of get that terminology, you may get a, a, a little bit lost. So I'm just trying to present the, you know, both sides of it. Not everybody's a fan now, but the people that are fans are really, really big fans. So like you could buy this, this is a whole package of three of his books. One of them would be the book that I just showed you, and then there, I think there would be two other books in there. I think Neo Think is the one that I just showed you there, which would be 20. Now, you can buy these from him directly, but now, like, Neo Cheating is something else. The Prime Cure is about aging and other stuff. Um, so the one I think you want is like this, the th maybe the three volumes from the Neo Think Society or just the one... Uh, that's called Neothic. Let me see. The one I have here is the Nouveau. So this one's good. SOS Visions is good. Um, Neothic Secrets Book One. Yeah, I think that's the one that I have there. Um, I guess he, like God, man, again, that's the philosophy. That's not the business side of it, right? I don't think I own SOS Powers. The Rise of Neotech, his father or his father-in-law was Dr. Frank Wallace. Those books are, the ones by Dr. Frank Wallace are all the philosophy. Don't particularly recommend them only because, um, unless you're into the the philosophy of, of Neotech, right? Um, that's a whole different thing. It's a whole different ballgame. What turned me on to this was this little book right here. I got this. I'd, I'd ordered it just like, I found it at a used bookstore. And I thought, there's the, there it was, or the thing right up here, right? I bought a little used bookstore a long time ago. And it was the rapid power and wealth through iron grip control of everything that moves. I'm like, wow, that sounds like really freaking awesome, right? And so in here, he explains the mini day. He explains... Uh, how, how to it explains how to batch your tasks here right into physical movements um you see what else we have here um 
somewhere in here he explains the neo think i really like the neo think idea right oh i guess you didn't see that did i did you see that last part let me just show it up here again so this is the iron grip control. and then he he goes in here and he explains whoops sorry <clears throat> he goes in here and he explains you know the the batching of tasks the many day schedules it's just kind of like an excerpt from the big book <clears throat> Now, I find the first half of the big book very fascinating to read. The, la the last half of it, let me bring it back up here. Like, the first half is really about business. The last half of it, um, more I think more goes into the philosophers. I'm not so much into that. But if you were to look here at the earlier parts, you can see I've got tabs, I've got underlining. It's really interesting and good stuff, right? Now, if you're just a person that's like watching this because you're like, well, I want a part-time hustle, a side hustle, right? Well, <clears throat> I mean, he does talk about that. He calls it the Friday night essence, finding out what really you would do <clears throat> even if you weren't earning money at it. He calls that the Friday night essence, right? So I think you can learn things if you're interested in, in, in a side hustle, but maybe you go to a product that's just more, here's the side hustle, here's what you do, here's how you do it, right? Because Neo think is like a really big picture. Um, uh, it's how you come up, you take a project, you envision it, and then you write down all the tasks from the end of the beginning. And then you take and you flow those into your daily calendar by batching them, by batching multiple projects. So while these the people that believe in one thing at a time, they're only working on one project. That's it. He can complete five or ten projects at a time by batching tasks, writing people or management, phone calls, numbers, by batching tasks, right? And so it's a really interesting, uh, like, I'm a fan. You either probably love it or hate it. You're either like, I don't understand what this guy's talking about, all this stuff about integration and all these things. What he's talking about integration is you have this bigger picture and you're integrating your daily movements, i.e. your copywriting, working on your accounting, working on products and development what he calls values, you're integrating all of that into your daily schedule and your daily activities. But I also like it because he has a whole system. He has the system of your monthly essence, which is your top 10 things, and then those flow into like your weekly list, your weekly essence. And so you have that whole list of your top 10 and then that flows in, and each then each week you're making notes of what you're doing on your top ten. Yeah, it's like a whole system, right? And actually, it even goes into being a whole system of managing people. It's really freaking fascinating stuff. Really freaking fascinating stuff. I, you may not like it. I'm a reader. I love to read. I don't have a problem with stuff that's abstract. Some of it is very specific. Like when you're show, showing how he does the tracking reports and everything. Very, very, very specific. And then some of it is very philosophical and very abstract. And if you struggle with applying anything whatsoever abstract to your business or to yourself, then you may struggle with it. But if you're an abstract thinker, but you also want really great specifics, like I really lo like how his approach to managing people. It's very interesting how he uses these tracking reports and stuff. It's very, very, very practical, right? All right, that's what I've got for you today. Let me see comments. I don't know. Some of you may be Neotech fans. A lot of you haven't heard of it. Some of you may be, yeah, I read it. It didn't do anything for me. I didn't like it or whatever, right? Um there's everything there, but I'm a fan. I own most of his books, uh, even the philosophical ones. I, I agree probably with all of it, of it. Parts of it I probably didn't understand to disagree or disagree with it because it is, some of it's pretty abstract, right? But then parts of it I found really interesting. He talks about how that, um, uh, I'm trying to find, think of the word that he uses, uh, Part of it's the idea of integration. That in the old days, he felt that there was the bicameral mind. 
and people, I mean, we're talking about thousands of years ago, as he perceives it. The, you know, the, but Julian James wrote this book about the bicameral mind. The idea was that way, 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 way back, people didn't have the ability to think and they were guided by voices, right, outside of themselves. And what he feels is that people that through, as time went forward, people still are like this, that like instead of them being able to think, come up with their own vision and their own picture, and, and create and put it into their calendar and work on it, that people still have this need to have somebody else telling them what to do. An external authority approving or disapproving and telling them what to do. If you're going to become an entrepreneur, if you're going to take and create your own products, your own values, your own vision, you can't be guided by somebody else telling you what to do. You got to have, you got to be able to envision it and, and so forth, and act on it yourself without somebody. There is nobody else to tell you what to do. I mean, some people get a coach because they want them to tell them what to do. But the problem with that is like, that's not how business works, right? You have got to come up with your own vision, your own action plan, and implement it. Anyway, I like it. You may or may not, but I wanted to do a video on it just because I like it. I find it interesting. And because I use some of the ideas in it. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye for now.